Hi, for this video, what we're going to look at is um, when do we realize that a linear inequality that all real numbers will work in um, that inequality. So with this, what we have here is we have an inequality that has variables on both sides. So we're going to start by distributing the 6 into both of these. Um, and so we end up with negative 12 plus 6x is greater than or equal to 6x minus 12. And when I bring the 6x to the opposite side, so when I bring this over here, my 6x cancels out on both sides. So my variable cancels out, and I'm left with the statement negative 12 is greater than or equal to negative 12. Since this has equality, and we can see that this is equal, our variable has canceled out, since this is a true statement, That means that any number that I plug into this um, would make this statement true. So all real numbers would be the solution set to this. Um, depending upon the class that you're in, sometimes just writing all real numbers is acceptable. Um, if you're using interval notation, you would write it as negative infinity to positive infinity. And if you wrote it in set notation, you would just say that it's the set of numbers. And they use the symbol for reals, all reals, is an R with an extra line in it. So this would be the set of all real numbers. Um, if you were to draw this out on a number line, basically what it's going to be is that your solution set is every single number. So um, depending upon how your requirements are, if you're selecting multiple choice, you would just select it on there. Um, I always draw the solution above just so that I can see where the answers are. So everything on here, it's basically just every single number in our number system. As always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you let me know what other topics you need. Um, check out all of my other videos.